Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIABS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Bondingship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 21 of half yearly and today's SW number will be 18. Dear student, our today's topic name exercise 6b okay from that chapter we shall solve question number one two and three scw my dear student from on we shall solve one three six eleven and fifteen uh, and question number one from question number one four eight ten and sixteen and question number four will be your sw of the same chapter okay so my dear student let us start Please open your math book, page number 63. From that page, we shall solve question number 1, 2 and 3. My dear student, I have already written the questions on the board. So follow, follow the board, please. Here, question number 1, calculate. That means some expression are given, we do calculation. Okay, here, multiplication. That means we do multiplication of fractions number one one number two by three multiply four number three five by six multiply by three number six three by four multiply by three by eight number eleven twenty one by twenty five multiply fifteen by fourteen uh, sixteen number ten multiply twenty four by five dear student and two odd problem which are odd problem number two and odd problem number three Dear student, at first we solve question number one. That means multiplication of fractions. Okay. So at first we do question number one. So one, one. Okay. Two by three multiply by four. Dear student, at first we write two by three. Okay. Do you know four means four means a fraction? Cause notice four means a fraction here 4 is a number and it has a denominator which is 1 which is 1 dear student not only 4 every number just like 5 it is a fraction and it has a denominator which is 1 we need not to write that number okay so just like this we write 4 by 1 dear student now notice here 2 by 3 multiply 4 by 1 so at first we multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator so how can please notice first of all we write a division sign after that 3 multiply 1 and 2 multiply 4 okay so multiply uh, so my dear student now we notice if any number is cut that means if any common divisor between numerator and denominator notice 2 cannot cut 3 on the other hand 3 and 4 uh, are not cut by any number excepting 1 so we just do multiplication 4 2 are 8 and 3 on the 3 so my dear student this is a proper fraction or improper fraction this is an improper fraction so we convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction so how can at first we do division of 8 by 3 so in 8 3 goes in two times 3 2 are 6 after that we do subtraction and we get 2 so now we write the mixed fraction so 2 quotient will be the integer and reminder will be the numerator and denominator will be same that means divisor will be the denominator i hope you have understood that means 2 into 2 by 3 is the answer of this question i hope you have understood okay and it is the answer as our solution is done so we must write answer okay next we shall solve question number three same process okay so three number question here five by six multiply by three dear student five by six and we know this 3 has a denominator which is 1 so we write 3 by 1 now we multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator denominator 
5 multiplied 3 and 6 multiplied by 1. Now, my dear student, please notice here 5 and here 3, here 6 and here 1. So, we notice if any number is divided by numerator and denominator both. Notice here 3 and 6. Both number is divided by the number 3. That means if we divide 3 by 3, then we get 1. If we divide 6 by 3, then we get 2. Okay. Now notice here 1 and 5 left and 2 and 1 left. So we don't divide any number 5. Uh, we don't divide 5 by 2 because 5 is even num uh, odd number. On the other hand, 2 is even number. So numerator 5 and 1 left and denominator 1 and 2 left. So we do multiplication 5 with 1 that means 5 on the 5 and 2 with 1 2 on the 2 that means 5 by 2 it is an improper fraction. So we convert this improper fraction into mixed fraction. How can we do division that means we divide 5 by 2 in 5 2 goes in 2 times 2 2 are 4 and do subtraction and we get 1. So now quotient will be the integer and Reminder will be the numerator and divisor will be the denominator. So 2 into 1 by 2 will be the answer of question number 3. Okay, as our solution is done, we must write answer. Now my dear student, 3 number question is done. Next we shall solve question number 6. Okay, in order to solve question number 6, we erase these two question. Okay, so here six number question is three by four multiply by three by eight. So, dear student, please notice three by four multiply by three by eight. So, here you notice at first we multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. That means three multiply by three and four multiply by eight. Dear student, notice 3 is an odd number. On the other hand, 4 and 8 are even numbers. So, you don't divide this 3, uh, uh, divide by this even number by this 3. Again, 3 is odd number. On the other hand, 4 and 8, 8 is even number. So, you don't divide this 4 and 8 by 3. Okay. So, we do multiplication directly that means 3 3 are 9 and 4 8 are 32 so this 9 by 32 will be the answer of this question okay so we must write answer 9 by 32 i hope you have understood our next question question number 11 so write 11 first here 21 by 25 multiply by 15 by 14 so my dear student first of all we multiply a numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator 21 by 15 and 25 by 14 dear student please notice this is 15 and this is 25 both are the multiple of 5 that means we divide 15 by 5 and also divide 25 by 5 if we divide 15 by 5 then we get 3 if we divide 25 by 5 then we get 5 so here notice 3 and 5 both are prime number and we know that there is no common prime factor between these two number okay that means this 5 cannot divided by 3 on the other hand 21 and 14 are left so notice these two number are the multiple of 7 that means we divide this 14 by 7 and we get 2 and this 21 by 7 and we get 3 now dear student notice numerator 3 and 3 left on the other hand denominator 5 and 2 left that means we do multiplication of 3 with 3 and we get 9 and 5 with 2 and we get 5 to the 10 so this 9 by 10 is the answer of this question i hope you have understood okay in this section we write answer and our last question of question number one which is question number 16 okay Sixteen number question is 10 multiply by 2 into 4 by 5 so my dear student first of all we write 10 and 
please notice when we notice an mixed fraction is given on a multiplication so at first we do uh, at first we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction so how can we know at first integer part is multiplied with the denominator then numerator is added with that multiplication that means 5 to the 10 and 4 is added with that 10 and it will be 14 so this 14 is written here and 5 is written here and my dear student we know every number has a denominator which is 1 so we can write 10 by 1 as well as this number is written here 14 by 5 now we multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator Five. So, my dear student, please notice 10 by 5. That means we uh, divide this 10 by this 5. If we divide 5 by 5, then we get 1. And if we divide this 10 by 5, then we get 2. So, dear student, please notice four, uh, here 1 and 1 left. And here 2 and 14 left. So, 14 to to the hot 28 and this is the answer of this question okay so my dear student this is question number one and there is a correction in your topics please notice here uh, 15 number question will be your CW but in this section it will be 16 okay in this section it will be 16 on the other hand is W will be 15 okay I hope you have understood. Okay, my dear student. Now, we shall solve odd problem. Odd problem number 2 and odd problem number 3. So, here you notice two number question. In a hostel, every day, 2 into 1 by 7 quintal of rice is needed. That means, my dear student, in a hostel, in one day, 2 into 1 by 7 quintal of rice is needed. In that hostel, how many quintals of rice is needed in one week? We know that one week equal to 7 days. That means in one day, 2, by, two into 1 by 7 quintal rice is uh, needed. So in 7 days, how many quintal rice is needed? So we need to find out that. So how can we do multiplication and we get the answer so write question number two in a hostel at first we write in a hostel okay sorry at first we write we know that we know that because here one week is given and we know that one week equal to seven days so write we know that one week equal to seven days now we write in a hostel okay in a hostel in one day in one day rice is needed is needed how many quintal rice is needed two into one by seven quintal okay now in seven days in seven days rice is needed laser more must more as more then multiplication will be happen that means two into one by seven multiplied with seven quintal quintals okay so dear student now notice at first we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction here 2 is multiplied with 7 that means 4 to jar uh, 7 to jar 14 14 plus 1 15 that means 15 by 7 multiply 7 quintals okay next we know that every number has a uh, denominator which is on that one is multiplied with 7 and it will be 7 and we multiply 15 by 7 now dear student notice 
this 7 and this 7 both are card by the number 7 that means if we divide 7 by 7 then we get 1 and if we divide this 7 by 7 then we get 1 also so 15 on the 15 and we need not write 1 as denominator because we know that every number has a denominator which is 1 this is the answer of this question that means in 7 days 15 quintal rice is needed i hope you have understood now we write answer answer 15 quintal q u i n sorry it not a q u i n t a l 15 quintals okay so this is question number two next we shall solve question number three at first we read the question here you notice one meter on meter of metal pipe OS is 3 to 1 by 4 kg. How many kg does 3 by 5 meter of the pipe weighs? That means the weight of 1 meter metal pipe is 3 into 1 by 4 kg. We need to find out the weight of 3 meter metal pipe is what? So we do multiplication and we get the answer. So please. notice the board carefully here three number question we write the weight of one meter metal pipe is metal pipe is three into one by four kg therefore the weight of 3 by 5 meter metal pipe is 3 into 1 by 4 multiply by 3 by 5 kg okay so first of all we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction so 3 4 jar 12 3 4 jar 12 plus 1 13 by 4 multiply by 3 by 5 kg now we multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator my dear student notice 13 cannot divided by 4 or 5 on the other hand 3 cannot divide by uh, 4 and 5 so we multiply 13 with 13 directly and 14, 4 with 5 directly that means uh, 13 3s are 39 and 4 5s are 20 this is an improper fraction so we convert this improper fraction into mixed fraction 39 in 39 20 goes in one times because if we take two times that it will be 40 and which is greater than 39 so 20 ones are 20 and we do subtract and we get 90 so 1 into uh, sorry it will be 1 9 so 19 by 20 kg this is the answer okay 1 into 90 by 20 kg that means the weight of 3 by 5 meter of metal pipe is 1 into 19 by 20 kg i hope you have understood dear student this is your cw this is your today's cw and i repeat your sw okay here you must solve from question number 1 4 8 10 and 15 and what problem number 4 i repeat from on you shall solve 4 8 10 and 15 and what problem number 4 will be your sw and it is sw number 18 dear student you must do your assign sw in your sw copy and submit it regularly in our school campus with uh, in every saturday within 9 a.m to 3 p.m so my dear student keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum